Oh, hello, Science Maximites. We've got a lot of work today, so I was just getting prepared. You know, taking something flimsy and making it strong, that's what scientists and engineers do every day. And it's also pretty fun. You take something that's not that strong, and by the way you build it or put it together or change its shape, it suddenly becomes a lot stronger than you think it was. So I thought that's what we should do today on Science Max Experiments at Large. We should build something. So we're gonna build an arched bridge, and we're gonna build it out of Sugar cubes! <laughs> so here's what you need. You need some sugar cubes, you need some sandpaper, and you need some modeling clay. So first, you want to make some abutments out of your modeling clay. What is an abutment, you ask? It is this! They distribute the force laterally from one side or the other. I like to use this. This is half a roll of duct tape, and so it fits in just like that, and you see, it's a perfect arch. If you just take sugar cubes and you try to stack them into an arch, it's not going to work because the sugar cubes may not even fit all together, and you can see only the bottoms are touching. I take out the guide and it all falls apart. So here's what you do. You take your sandpaper and you change the squares into trapezoids, and you start sanding down your sugar cubes into trapezoids. Basically, you want one small side and one long side. Thin at the top, wide at the bottom, or wide at the top, thin at the bottom. It's a trapezoid no matter which way you hold it. Put it on the bridge and see. And as you go, you will see if you're doing it right, there will be no gaps. If you go to the Science Max website, there will be a guide that you can use to help you make the sugar cube bridge. So you don't have to spend as long as I did making this one. And then the most important part is the keystone. That's the one that fits in right at the top, just like that. And when it does, you can take away the guide and it stays up. Isn't that cool? It stays up without any glue, without any mortar, all based on the shape of these sugar cubes. The cool thing is, it'll hold the weight of a whole car, provided you have a very, very small car. The reason why it works is because the weight is distributed along the arch into the abutments and down into the ground. That's what makes an arch bridge so strong. 